In my last video, I mentioned of a way that you can use Soundfly to send the audio to other computers on your LAN or local area network. Now, what we could do with that is we could set it up with iTunes and iChat so you can control it, which was from a previous tip. Or, we could take another step further and forget about Soundfly and just send it through iChat, all the audio and all the controls and everything else through iChat. I'm going to show you how to do that today. It's pretty simple. You're going to need two things. You're going to need two accounts and at least one Mac, although two would be preferable. What we're going to do is the first thing we need to do is we need to set up, let, allow the Mac that's receiving to be, to control the Mac that is sending. To do this, we're going to say show info, right click on it, say show info or command shift I, alert, message received, run Apple script, iTunes remote control. And there we go. Now it will allow us to control iTunes from the other account on the other Mac. The next thing we have to do is set it up to automatically accept audio invitations. We'll go to show info again. And we're, cha we're showing the info for the Mac we are sending the instructions from. So we'll be listening on, we'll be listening through this account and sending through this account. We'll go to alerts, audio invitation, run Apple script. And we're going to be using the back to my Mac from a previous step, although if you just want to do auto accept, and it'll automatically accept an audio invitation. Finally, we need to set up the preferences. Hit command comma, go to audio and video, and change this to sunflower to ch. Close that, and now we're all done with high chat, and we can go mess around with the other stuff we need to do. If you didn't download Lineand from yesterday, click on the link on the right hand side and say download now. And once you download it, open up the application and we want to set it up like this. We're going to set input from Soundflower to CH and you just select this Soundflower to CH and built in output. Just like that and we, we just say pass through and there we go. Everything's set for line in. The final thing we need to do is we need to change the audio output on the Mac. Go to your sound preferences, do output, and select Soundflower to CH. And that's it. Now we should have line in running. We're going to launch line in. We have iChat running. We have iTunes running. And that's all we need. There we go. On line in, set it so that it's passing through. On iChat, we have it set so that way when we receive an audio invitation, it automatically accepts. And when we receive a message, we have iTunes remote control. Now, this is specifically an account for your listening to audio. Now, what we'll do is when we play this song in iTunes, then we in, uh, we invite them to an audio chat, it'll automatically accept, and you'll hear the audio, because we have the microphone set up, you'll hear the audio on your Mac, and you'll hear it locally on the speakers on the Mac that's sending. So theoretically, you could be in China, open up an audio chat, and listen to your music that's living in America. As a final note, if you set up back to my Mac from the previous tip, with the Apple script, and you you have that set up, you know, automatically accept audio invitations and you can control the screen. Now because you control the screen, you can just do back to my Mac, come in on here, uh, control iTunes, set up playlists, change playlists, whatever, and then you can use basic controls of control of with the iTunes remote control of pause, play, rewind, fast forward, mute, etc. There's one other way to stream your audio to anywhere in the world, and this is actually an in-browser method, although it's not quite as fine as this one, and that'll be tomorrow's video. So come back then. This has been a video for the Mac Tour blog. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.